British research station in Antarctica skis its way to safety. The British Antarctic Survey has completed the relocation of its Holly research station in Antarctica, some 14 miles inland. The Holly 6 research station was moved after one of the two chasms in the area became active in 2013, and a new crack was discovered on the Brunt Ice Shelf in October last year. The research station had to be moved 14 miles to a new site for safety. The hydraulic legs allow the station to be raised and lowered, while the skis on the bottom of the legs allow the station to be transported easily. The modules were hauled individually to the new site where they were reassembled. The research center will be closed due to safety considerations, and all staff at the station are currently being evacuated in stages. The station will be reopened in November 2017. Here are other stories on Antarctica. Huge crack threatens Antarctic ice shelf. The effects of global warming have reached even the coldest corners of the world, and now threaten to collapse Antarctica's fourth largest ice shelf. The Larsen Sea Ice Shelf sits on the northernmost part of the Antarctic Peninsula and is slightly smaller than Scotland. The entire area consists of a thick sheet of ice that extends from ice caps on land and floats over deep ocean waters. Warming temperatures have caused cracks to form across Larsen Sea since 2011, with the rift growing 22 kilometers and widening to 350 meters in the past few months. The now 130-kilometer-long rift may soon cause about 10% of the ice shelf to break off. The partial loss of Larsen Sea will not itself raise sea levels, but ice being held back by the shelf may flow faster into the sea and contribute to its global rise. Scientists likewise fear that the loss of a huge chunk of ice will render the Larsen Sea ice shelf unstable and cause it to disintegrate, like Larsen's A and B before it. The melting of Greenland and Antarctica is changing the Earth's rotation. New research suggests that the melting of the ice sheets is shifting the location of the Earth's spin axis, meaning the North and South Poles are moving. As ice melts in Greenland and Antarctica, the geographic North and South Poles are migrating. This is because the mass of the planet is being redistributed, similar to what happens when a twirling skater extends or retracts arms or a leg. The poles head towards where mass is being reduced. For example, if Greenland is the only region that is losing mass, then the North Pole will move towards it. In addition to the melting of the ice sheets, changing patterns in water storage on the continents also affect the direction of the polar motion. It is estimated that 40% of polar movement is affected by the loss of ice mass in Greenland, and 25% due to the loss of ice mass in Antarctica. Another 25% is influenced by changes in water storage on the continents. Up until 2000, the North Pole was moving slowly towards Canada at a speed of around 8 centimetres per year. Now the North Pole is moving towards the UK and Europe at a speed of up to 18 centimetres per year. The study does not directly attribute the shift in polar movement to human-caused climate change. However, it suggests global warming is a significant factor in melting polar ice mass and smaller glaciers around the world. West Antarctic ice sheet collapse is underway. A number of studies published in the past year show that the melting of the West Antarctic ice sheet is likely unstoppable. The glacier will probably disappear in a matter of centuries, adding 13 feet of water to sea levels, according to NASA. Researchers at Washington University in St. Louis recorded two bursts of seismic activity at the same location beneath Antarctica's ice sheet, leading them to discover an active volcano that will speed the rate of ice mass loss in West Antarctica. Eruptions are unlikely to break through the surface of the ice, but volcanic activity would melt the sheet, generating large volumes of water that would speed the flow of overlaying ice draining into the Ross ice shelf. Another study shows that warmer water at the depths of the ocean forms caverns beneath the ice, wearing away ice grounded on the ocean floor. 
These studies conclude that Antarctic instability will significantly contribute to sea level rise in the decades to come. These penguins might be wiped out because of an iceberg. A giant glacier is wiping out an entire colony of penguins. Short of it being destroyed or moving elsewhere, there's not much that can be done to save the birds. In 2010, the Rhode Island-sized iceberg B09B became grounded near a colony of Adelie penguins in East Antarctica. The iceberg blocked the penguins' access to the sea and their access to food. To find food, the flightless birds had to make an 80-mile round-trip journey in harsh Antarctic weather. Because of this hazardous trek, the colony's population has withered over 90% from 160,000 to 10,000 now. In research published in the journal Antarctic Science, scientists say the colony could be wiped out unless the iceberg moves elsewhere or the sea ice breaks up. Adelie penguins have lived and bred in the area for more than a century. Do you think humans should try to save them? Or should we let nature take its course and see what happens?